And so you follow the trail and then you kind of can dig up at the end where they are. So uh, before, I think we have time for maybe two or three more questions, sure. but before that, um, what is the one thing that you wish everyone here knew about marine science and about the kind of research that you do? What's one thing that you wish everyone could take away? The one thing I wish everyone can take away is that the earth is actually 70% water. And so it's very important that we conserve our oceans because they do a lot for us. They do a, a whole lot. And so not only giving us medicine, but giving us a whole lot of things to regulate our atmosphere and why we're here. So it's very important that you treat the, the oceans very kindly. And and, that's what I want you to do. And even a, a creature that seems small and, and maybe not important, like a snail, can end up being uh, very important to save people's lives if you get sick. Exactly, yes. Um, okay, we have time for, I think we can take uh, all, all of these questions and then we'll, we'll go, okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, Where so do you travel to to get these snails? We travel um, mostly into the Indo-Pacific. So um, anything in Australia will kill you. <laughs> Don't go to Australia. <laughs> so we go to Papua New Guinea most recently. Um, we've been to the Philippines, Solomon Islands, Panama, and we were actually in the Persian Gulf. So we were recently in UAE, the United Ar um, Arab uh, Emirates, Emirates uh, because the Persian Gulf is one of the warmest waters on the planet. So we wanted to see what if the warming of temperatures, what's happening with climate change, is affecting the venom that's being made by the snails. So we we're going to compare the venom we found from the snails that live in the Persian Gulf to the snails that live in the Indo-Pacific, basically, and see if there's a difference. Okay. Question here. You, you had one? Yep. What's the main oh. thing that is hurting the ocean? The that's main, a big question. That's a big question. The main thing that's hurting the ocean, and it's kind of a controversial question because it depends on who cone snails. No. <laughs> cone snails are helping. <laughs> oh, plastic. Yes. Yes. I was going to say the same thing. I was going to say it's a controversial depending on who your lobbyist is, but basically it's plastic. Plastic is doing a lot, a lot of damage to the oceans and to the organisms that live in the ocean. And so be careful how you use your plastic. And uh -huh. what's your name? Are you asking whether there's other drugs made from them, or can it help you if you get stung by the other ones? Oh, the oh, second could, one. So yes. could this could the drug that you've made from cone snails help if you get stung by like a jellyfish or a right. lionfish? The other like kind of pain. So the kind of pain that the the drug uses is it treats neuronal pain. So if it's a neuronal type of pain, yes. But if it's like a pain, like putting your hand in fire or something like that, no. So it depends yeah. on the kind. And the last question, I think. Oh, the okay. venom from the snails. So that's very interesting. So we have to, so the animals live inside of the shell, so we sort of have to sacrifice the animal, and we then dissect out the venom gland, and we bring it back here to the lab, and we put it on machines to see what are the components inside of the venom. All right, and Mandy, before we go, um, one, Mandy's going to hang around for a little bit so you can yes. say hi, shake her hand, ask her more questions. Um, but before that, what can we all do as people who are interested in these snails and interested in your work? What can we do to support your work and to support these snails and help make sure that we are protecting them and the environment? <laughs> oh, now you're, you're giving me a nice plug. So, as I said, today we launched our iTunes game. And so, the, all the, not all of the proceeds, but some of the proceeds we're actually going to use to try to give back to um, the communities from which we collect the snails and so if you're buying the game on iTunes or if you're buying it on Amazon some of the proceeds that are uh, being used from that will go back to the communities that these snails come from and that's the way to keep our research going because the snails are being conserved and being treated well. So uh, in a fun way you get to play a game and help you out. You get and to also, play a game and help us out. <laughs> it sounds like recycling and making sure that you're not putting plastic into the water is a big thing no too. No plastic, no plastic uh, at all. Alright, give another big round of applause for Dr. Mandy Holford. Mandy, Thank you so guys, much. thank you so much and sometimes we beach comb on low tide because they're found in um, coral reefs and under live rock and we collect them very carefully yeah are you wearing <laughs> using, like thick gloves or something we use thick scuba gloves and we also use the very very high-tech salad tongs oh salad tongs <laughs> so that you can grab them and drop them into your bucket without having to get too close so the snails are not um, aggressive when you pick them up actually they will recoil into their shells 
but their poison tongue can go very, very far. So you don't want it coming back and biting you. So we actually just use a, a big salad tongue and drop them into. When you're out on the beach and you're having lunch afterwards, do you use the salad tongs for lunch <laughs> Not too? Not the same salad tongs. You make there's, sure. There's collecting salad tongs, there's eating salad tongs. This is a very important the engineers thought that they would show you what really is awful versus what really is good. So the experiment was, what's, what surface do they like? They tried a hundred different things, and this was the winner, and this was the big loser. So they said, hey, this will be fun. Let's show kids and their parents what the big winner is like, the loser, and let's just leave it. This rubs the mucus off their body. This, 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 this allows them to snake their way up. Did I just say snake? But are they a snake? That's right, they're an eel.